recognizes an individual for his promotion of the ideals of individualism, honesty, humility, and integrity. The same ideals closely identified with the American West. Tonight we recognize a leader of the West who shares and exemplifies those same characteristics. Last year I had the honor of being given an award down in Phoenix and Rusty Richards presented me the award. And he said such nice things about me. I thought, man, if I ever get a chance, I'm going to get you back. <laughs> He's the real deal. He's not only one of the great Western songwriters every place. He's, he's a horseshoer. He's a cowboy. Well, there's just not much you can say have anything to do with the Western way of life that he isn't part of. He's a stuntman, a horse trainer, rodeo superstar, and most notably an award-winning singer and gifted song songwriter. I've known Rusty Richards for many, many years, and uh, I can't think of anyone more deserving of the great Chester Ray Reynolds Award than Rusty. He's such a such a wonderful man, a wonderful writer, a sure enough cowboy. The award of the, of the Chester A. Reynolds Award. This if you year, had to Dutch describe a cowboy, would he have had to grown up in the West dreaming of the cowboy life? Would he have to be patriotic with a deep love of our country? Would he have to be one of the best horsemen in the West and know a horse from front to back? <laughs> But he have to know his way around a good story and be able to pick and sing with the best of them. And in a time of need, would he have had to let the kind of life that when the chips are down, his friends from far and near wouldn't hesitate to ride to his aid. Well, if that's how you describe a cowboy, it's a pretty good description. To me, he was kind-hearted to both man and beast. But tonight, the cowboy that we're talking about, the 2016 Chester A. Reynolds Award winner, Rusty Richards. receive this wonderful award and so grateful to Chester A. Reynolds for having founded this magnificent place. I don't, don't even know who is responsible for my having been chosen, but it was Bill White who first said to me that he thought that I should be recognized. Thank you, Bill, and thank you to everyone on the, on the board of directors, and as I said, I don't even know who, but I'm so grateful. Thanks also to everyone here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum and all of you for supporting it. A special thanks to my wife, Amy, because from the start, she has been supportive of me and helped me to achieve my goals, whether riding bulls, starting colts, doing stunt work, 
or traveling with the sons of the pioneers, she never complained. With leaky fences and a troublesome dog, <laughs> she stayed home with our great kids and took care of things. This September, we'll celebrate our 58th anniversary. I'm so fortunate to have been born a citizen of the greatest nation in the history of the world and privileged to be a part of the West and humbled to be honored tonight for my life as a cowboy. Many of you have traveled great distances to be here. Thank you. And I love you all. God bless you and God bless America. The presenters of our next three Western Heritage Awards in the film category are no strangers to the industry themselves. Please welcome film and television producer and museum board member Lincoln Loggison and actor, artist, and inductee into the Hall of Great Western Performers, 